Hi all you Aries out there, this is Sandy Couture and I'm here doing the astrological tarot reading for the sign of Aries for the month of September 2021. So astrologically speaking, the month of September is going to be a pretty um, surface, on the surface, easy month because all of our personal planets, the Sun, the Moon, Mars, Mercury, and um, Venus are all in good aspects. Nothing is really um, having a, any push against it, deep push against it for, you know, angst on any level. So that's a good thing. However, all of our our planets that represent spirituality, transformation, and social mores, there are six of them. Those are all retrograde. Those are the planets of Pluto, Neptune, Saturn, Jupiter, Chiron, and Uranus. All of those are transformational, deep internal transformational planets. Um, and, and they deal with how we get along in society. All of them are retrograde or more or less standing still. So retrograde season is when people s slow down and make sure they're taking a look at everything. So the best analogy I came up with was imagine you're on a sailboat. Your sails are up and the wind is behind your back. It's pushing you and it's nice, the sun is out. Um, those are the five personal planets moving you along. But however, in order to be a good navigator, you also have to pay attention to the water currents. The six planets for, that are transformational planets are the water currents. So sometimes the water currents in boating can move you into directions you don't want to go. So my suggestion this month is to pay attention to your deep transformational thoughts, your deep intuitions, your messages you get from God, whatever they are. You know, pay attention to those while you're enjoying moving forward through your month. So hopefully that was a helpful analogy. It helped me to understand it. The first card that I pulled for you, Aries, is a wonderful card. It's a fire card. You're a fire sign. A wands are fire. This is a four of wands. And this is like, take stock of the blessings that you have. There's a little family under the garland. There's little animals. It's a good thing. You're, you know, take stock of the goodness that has happened in your life up until now and all the blessings you have in your life at this particular time. Um, the surprise or challenge card is the two of swords. Twos are always about uh, dualities, making a choice, right or wrong, left or right. Um, the swords are the mental cards. So you may have a little bit of a, a mental uh, decision to make here and you're kind of not sure which direction you want to go. She's actually um, looks as though she's enveloped in water and that's emotion. So it's it's remember to connect your mind and your heart. But she also, the, the covering of her eyes is just gossamer. It's not uncomfortable for her. She can see through it. And I think you can see through it also, Aries. Don't angst about things this month. You know, um, if you can't make a choice and you're struggling with it, go outside, get in nature, do something physical because that always helps Aries. So the process card for this month is the um, seven of pentacles. Pentacles is about earthly things. It's an earth card and well-being. And this woman is about tending her garden. So take a look at your blessings. Don't overthink things. Tend your everyday garden for yourself because the old adage is really true. What you sow, you will reap. So tend your garden. And the most likely outcome card is the Knight of um, Wands. Once again, a fire card. And the Knight of Wands is a successful knight. He's very passionate. He's victorious. He's enthusiastic. He moves forward. So it seems as though your month may take you on a little bit of a mental journey internally. Maybe all those planets down there are causing some transformation. But the end of the month will find you victorious and enthusiastic for life again. Hopefully that was helpful for all of you Aries out there and have a wonderful month.